tomorrow morning I leave for Portland, Oregon. It's Allie's birthday weekend, we have friends getting married, we're making a whole week of it, it's gonna be awesome. But I feel like before I get on an airplane, I need to fulfill, I need to fill, I need to consume a fried bologna sandwich. I just don't feel like they're gonna have them out there. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna leave this running, don't get stolen. And I'm not gonna pay for parking, so don't get ticketed either. This is my country, my damn country, give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country, and it don't mean a thing if you don't pass the test. If you ain't never cheated or been cheated on, then take off your boots, you rhinestone fraud. <laughs> Hi, I just had a pick up for Sean for food. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You can keep your picket fence fantasies and put a cork in your high school memories. This is my country, my damn country. Give me my country, you can keep the rest. So that place is like a country western live music bar and they have food. And it's weird going in there at like 5 p.m. before things pick up. Grayson Jenkins is playing tonight though, and I wish I could, you know, I wish they'd be fine with me bringing the whole rig just straight up into the restaurant and just doing the whole thing, but weird energy in there when you go in in the daylight. Weird place to go in the daytime. My dad flew in to see my brother today, and so I'm missing out on family fun, so <laughs> a little sad. For one fried bologna sandwich, this sure is bag in a bag. This is, this is like a... Did I go to Kohl's? No, because if I went to Kohl's, I would have gotten 30% off for not even asking. <laughs> You'll get Kohl's cash too. Now that's the good stuff. You guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. I've had fried bologna sandwiches in the past, but I've never had one, I don't think in Chicago, and I've never had one from Carol's Pub. Today's video made possible by another food show, another food host, someone I love to watch, Mr. Marty D. Wambacher. <laughs> People go for Midwest slice of life. Oh, change! Marty runs Midwest Slice of Life. He's in his third season. It's a weekly food show, first couple seasons, all about pizza, in and around, yeah, you guessed it, the Midwest. And this season, season three, he's doing the Tenderloin Tour, which I think is a sandwich that needs to get more notoriety. More people need to be doing it outside of like Indiana because those things are, <laughs> it's like as big as a like envelope and they just give you normally just normal sized buns and it's fried pork tenderloin and it's ridiculous. It's just awkward to eat these like this, but here we go. And honestly, I just, I love Marty. Uh, I'm a fan of his show as well. He's a fan of mine. He donated for me to do this and I'm so, so grateful. So Marty, thank you. I hope you're doing very well, my friend. I can't wait to collaborate, collaborate with you in the future. Collaborate, four syllables, get it right. Get it right, get it tight. Are you ready to get it right and get it tight? Clean it up. So bologna sandwiches in America actually came over from Italy, but from German immigrants who brought them to the Midwest, Appalachia, Pennsylvania. And now I feel like fried bologna is kind of like a Southern thing. When I lived in Oklahoma, I lived in Norman. No, where did I, I didn't live in Norman. I lived in Edmond. Where did I live? <laughs> I lived just north of Oklahoma City in Edmond. I worked for the Oklahoman newspaper. Oh wow, look at these chips. That was back in 2009. And so now, we have this. Ooh, yeah though. Those homemade chips look so good. Not gonna lie, I'm normally a fry guy, but today I'm a chip guy. Let's dig this out. Oh my God, look at that. There's something about it. It's just so simple, white bread, toasted, cheese, lettuce, and that fried bologna. There's just something about it, you guys. How do you not have a chip first? Look at this one. It's 50 chips in one. Let's try to get a good shatter. Wow. All right, sandwich time. Fried bologna topped with American cheese, hot English mustard, mayo, 
shredded, and potato chips. Website photography is fire. All right, Marty, once again, thank you. You guys, if you want more food content from another great creator, head on over to Midwest Slice of Life as Marty takes on the Tenderloin Tour. Let's get this cheesy Bologna. Cheers. Oh my God. I grew up eating Oscar Mayer bologna, thinking it was totally normal and great. And then, later in life, throwing it on a skillet and just frying it up a little bit, just God mode, S tier. It's so salty, but oddly refreshing. Salty and creamy and tangy and weird thing, I wish I would have gotten a sidecar of that English mustard and dipped the chips in it. Damn, those are good. Look how creamy that bite's gonna be with those layers of bologna. It's a sandwich I feel like that doesn't get enough credit. It's so satisfying. Quite literally the opposite of how you leave your wife. Mmm! This whole tray of food, under 10 bucks. Nine and some change. Yesterday was food truck day at the park in Montgomery Ward Park here in Chicago. They uh, gave Lionel a Ghostbusters soft treat, homemade, at which point I broke off some, threw oh, it to him. It, okay. Just Ready? adorable. Ready? He caught that, he looked like he Good dropped job. it, but he caught it. So happy, ha ha happy dog after. And then tomorrow, Allie's birthday, we're doing five full days in Portland. We have a friend's wedding, like I said, and then just kind of, we're doing like the Willamette Valley for some wine, hitting breweries one day. I've had a couple people reach out and give recommendations, so there's if there's anything you wanna see me do, or you're absolutely convinced, me and Allie would love a place, let me know. This is my Instagram handle. Do the whole thing, just reach out, or you can email me, heyshawnelia at gmail.com. I'm so excited to travel, you guys know. If I could make a career out of just traveling and making videos every other day, travel, make a video, edit it in the hotel, move on. Like, that would be my dream gig. I just put chips on the sandwich, obviously, on the second half. Do you guys put the chips on the sandwich? You got to, right? Even better. Michigan State also plays Washington during the wedding, so I have to be that guy sneaking minutes on my phone, like going to the bathroom and like watching a third down, and then going back out there and being like, no, I wasn't watching college football. It doesn't run my life. I'm totally excited about this matrimony, this union. I'm not lying. I always look like this. These might be the best like chips I've had from a restaurant in a long time. Is that place called Charcoal Guacamole? Charcoal Guacamole Mexican restaurant. $1.79 tacos on Tuesdays. See ya. Fried bologna sandwiches, pork tenderloin sandwiches, muffalettas, very underrated sandwiches across the country. They're good in like the regions that they're sold in. We need more of them. Bologna is like mortadella, right? That bite had a lot of mustard and I liked it a lot. Marty, I literally came up here during rush hour, the night before I'm leaving on a long trip. I got so much I love you. <laughs> so this spot is like basically the border between Ravenswood and Uptown, huh? And since it's on the right side of the street, does that mean it is Uptown? Just south of Andersonville and that giant Catholic cemetery where I will be buried after eating that. Oh my God. I'm feeling real good on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta have Allie try these chips when I get home. See you later, chips. See you later, Trey. I used to go to Carol's like years before the pandemic for probably the best karaoke you've ever seen. Like Trader Todd's in Chicago has got some good karaoke. Uptown Lounge has got some good karaoke. But Carol's Pub, like watching people go in there and belt country songs, Unmatched. Also, real quick, want to give shout outs to D. Cohen, Justin Ross, and Harris Q for super thanksing the show. Donations go a long way. Go a go a long way. Uh, talk better, obviously. Hey, hey, talk better. Your nose is so weird. I feel like Moon Knight. 
But anyways, Marty, that was absolutely amazing. I'm linking his channel below. Go say hi, tell him I sent you. I'll link his channel and his most recent video. He's well off, he's kind of in the middle of his season. So say what up to him. I know how much that helps people making videos. Like when you guys reach out to me, like you write emails or you direct message me on Instagram and say how much you love the videos or suggestions, any of that stuff. It literally motivates me to make more videos and to work harder and harder and harder on my own stuff. So, and you know food content is my favorite thing in the world. This gives me so much joy. I hate 99% of the internet. I hate 99% of the entertainment world. So much of it sucks. This right here, just meeting friends, eating food, talking with people that love certain things, that's what for me the internet is. When I open my phone, that's all I want. I want nothing else. Long story short, thank you for being you, truly. Let's make eye contact. Like, look, at, look into my eyes. Is it weird? Did you look away because it's awkward? Like, you're sitting and watching this by yourself on your phone, and you're still, like, embarrassed, like, looking away, like, stop, like, make eye contact with me. I love you. Good. You get it. <laughs> hey! No, I'm just kidding. Prolonged eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. Gonna take some days off to celebrate Allie's birthday, go to the Pacific Northwest, do my thing, don't worry, I'm vlogging while I'm there, I'm gonna come home and edit it and put out some fun videos, and we'll keep the train rolling. Or the Alaskan Airlines flight. Also, my flight back to Chicago, they changed it because they canceled all the direct flights, so now I have to fly from Portland to Charlotte, wait there for an hour and a half, then back to Chicago. I don't know if you know geography, but that sucks. Anyways, love you guys. See you very soon. Marty, you're the best. Fried bologna sandwiches up. Fried bologna sandwiches down. That guy I thought was wearing a raccoon head uh, or a tail on the front of his hat. It was actually just a visor where his hat looked, you, his hair, you get it. Bye. I was waking up this morning, waking up before it's getting nine. Got a heavy on my shoulders, tracking down some moments back in time. Swore that I but I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die.